When I'm thinking about this uh, great opportunity that we have in this world to go and help other people to shine the light that shines within our true selves out to people, I'm getting very excited. I know that many of us are treasuring great, great sparks of heavenly light and we are obligated to shine that light. Now the problem is that the majority of people were crushed during their lifetimes not to believe in themselves and to doubt themselves and not to count on themselves to be able to make a difference in the world and to change the world. But the truth is that everyone that feels an urge, a passion, a desire for better life, for goodness to take place, that light is shining from an inner source inside your soul. And we must understand that we are obligated to shine that light and to express it. It's like that a person has a certain talent. If you're not going to use that talent, people around you will never be able to enjoy the wisdom that the Creator gave you. If you have a certain knowledge, you know how to read, and people around you, they don't know how to read. They don't know. They, they don't have any access to books. They cannot develop, they cannot grow, and you know how to read. Now, you're not going to teach them. You're not going to sit with them. You're not going to qualify someone else to teach as well. So what are you doing? Taking those treasures, that wisdom with you to grave, and then it will be missing and, and disappear from the world. That's very unfortunate. That's very, very sad. And therefore, anyone who finds good points inside of himself must share, must go and shine that light because the world is so thirsty. People are so hungry. People are so poor of knowledge. And we must go and shine the light out to the world for people to know the truth. And if you feel that you have the ability and the wisdom and the knowledge and, and the, the, the wisdom to shine a certain light, one will shine to children, one will shine on, on people's marital peace, one will shine his wisdom to people to learn how to build a career, how to invest their money, how to buy a house, how to educate their children, how to be patient with your soulmate, how to... Everyone has a certain knowledge, you base that knowledge, you, you earn, the, gain that knowledge based on your life experience, you must share that knowledge with the world. You must share the wisdom, your conclusions, the outcome of your journey, of your life journey, and to go and spread it out to the world because the world needs you. The world is thirsty to hear the words of wisdom that are coming out of your mouth. So first of all, first step, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you are you, that you have that wisdom, that your understandings and that your conclusions mean something. So you need to check with yourself, am I really educated? Have I really earned something in life? Does my wisdom really stand and, 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 and works for me? Is it really happening that when I'm using my wisdom, good outcomes, good um, um, results are taking place? If the answer is yes, and you see that really you gained and earned a certain wisdom in life, you are obligated in 100% of an obligation to shine that light out to the world for people to enjoy your talents, your abilities, and your wisdom. And this is the will of Hashem. And that is the reason and that is the secret of why the Creator planted a godly soul within each and every one of us. That godly soul is a portion of God, portion of godliness from above, from a mysterious place, from a hidden place, from, in, from infinity itself. He planted it into your chariot for you to ride that light and deliver that light to the world. It's a portion of God. It's a godly shine. It's a godly light that was given to your blessed hands for you to share. And people around you, they need to listen to you. Some of your relatives and your friends are not able to hear me, and they need to hear the wisdom from you. They can count on you. 
because you have a similar background, because you have something in common, they can count on you. Because of your similarity, because of your connection, because of your, your connection, because of your relation, that is exactly why they will listen to you and they will count on you and they will accept your wisdom and your wise conclusions. But you must believe in yourself. You must count on yourself that you know what you're talking about, that you know what you're saying. So if you check yourself and you find yourself honorable and wise and gifted and blessed, even in one area, even in one aspect, you don't need to be a genius, you don't need to be a righteous man. Even you just found one aspect that in a that aspect you are gifted, you are a good carpenter, you are an, an amazing a, a, a doctor, you're a wonderful tutor, you're a great teacher, you're a fantastic babysitter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what is your talent. You are needed in the world and the world needs you. The world needs you to shine, to shine the light that you have been blessed with by God. And by doing that, you're shining the godly light out to the world. And when people looking at you, they're not enjoying your light. They're enjoying the light of Hashem that is shining through you. And when they are getting wiser through you, they're finding an inner connection to the light of God that is shining within themselves. And you're helping them to connect to their own root of their own soul and to become one with our Maker, with the Creator. And you help them to be one with God. You connect them to the source of infinity, to the inner tunnel of their soul that is connected in the tree of life, in the great, great web of, of, of rivers, to the sea of souls, to infinity itself. And may the light shine with full power and with great endless love, unconditional love to all the dark spots, to all the thin cracks, to all the lowest places of them all, to heal them, to uplift them, to rise and to shine and upgrade them all for the complete redemption to take place in our days that there will be no more hatred, no more sadness, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more death in the world at all. Amen. Amen. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!